I was never the one to write up a song for just anyone Okay, so we're currently in my car and I'm just going to start the vlog straight into it because I feel very awkward right now because I've got a car full of people <laughs> I've got my cousin in the back, I've got my mum here um, Basically guys, we were supposed to be going pumpkin picking today and now I've just messed up the camera tripod One second Just going to have to do that um, Basically, we were supposed to be going pumpkin picking today guys at Kato's, Kato's Farm, is that what it's called? Yeah um, We go every year and I do normally book, but I normally book like two days before or the night before because I have never ever known it to be somewhere that's like fully booked, unless it's like half term or the weekend. Anyway, it goes online last night to book and be organised and it's fully booked. I wonder if you could just turn up though. Like, can you just... Because I'm pretty sure I then read that you could just turn up, but it's a massive queue. I don't really know. But anyway... The plan has gone out the window now. We're not doing pumpkin picking today. We have decided to do Christmas instead. So skip a season and have a look at some Christmas bits and bobs because the Sapcoat Garden Centre is now open, like their Christmas shop. And again, I do come here every year because it's so good. Um, but if you want, I was going to say more affordable baubles, but they do do quite a lot of expensive ones as well, they do don't they? It's a mixture of, uh, for everybody. Yeah, they do a mixture, but it's a really good garden centre. They have loads of baubles. So we thought we'd change up the plans and have a little out here today and we're going to go pumpkin picking friday so stay tuned for that vlog it will be coming your way but not today um so yeah that is what the poa is are you excited amelia <laughs> for... <laughs> amelia was saying that like in new zealand garden center is a purely gardening yeah, you don't get Christmas. Not even, like, some don't even have cafes. Like, really? Yeah, they're just like trees. <laughs> so, so yeah, we're um, getting Amelia to experience all the Christmas goodness, true British life, true British yeah. life, and what it's like this time of year. And Amelia was just also saying as well, they don't have pumpkin spice mm. in New Zealand. No. Like, what is this? <laughs> I'd be useless living over there. I'd be like, where's the seasons? What's going on? Um, so yeah, anyway, I'm going to shut up now because I'm absolutely rambling. Ciao! Oh my god, it's so sunny today, guys. Mum's just told me to tell you that, basically, I said we're going pumpkin picking Friday. That vlog will probably already be up by the time you watch this because it doesn't make sense to upload Christmas before Ooh. autumn. <laughs> but it's just one of those, though, because I feel like season just jumps so far yeah. ahead, don't they? Like, yeah. I'm just it's trying to... Christmas so early. Yeah, yeah. like, I'm just trying to um, enjoy the autumn content, but, like, Christmas is here, so it's like... <laughs> it's just mad. Oh, Christmas trees already. Let me show you. Oh, loads of Christmas trees. Actually, they're really quite inexpensive here. Well, they have got some more expensive ones. I suppose this is not normally the way you come into um, the Christmas shop. Oh, they've got some real nice wreaths. Oh, £60, Mum. £60. I wouldn't dare put it on my door. This is cute. Yeah, so many nice ones. Oh, they've got blue ones as well, Mum. Mm. Yeah, so many nice ones. Oh, they've got blue ones as well, Mum. Mm. Yeah, I love that. I have to have a blue one to go on. You will have to have a blue one, Mum. You need to put put your hand in your pocket this year and get some new decor. So um, I've got some bits. I'm decorating Mum's tree this year, guys. So excited. You're having a new tree, aren't you? So that is very exciting. And uh, Mum, you did blue last year, didn't you? But I want to do it more not, like... Not all blue, did I? Yeah, we're going to do like a midnight blue, I think. Cause, oh, this is so exciting. Just look at all the trees. Oh my God, that tinsel wall is an absolute vibe. <gasps> it feels very organized this year. Look at all these flowers. Mom, you was asking for your poinsettia, poinsettias. Poin <gasps> look at them gray ones. Yeah. So if you are looking for any flowers to go in your tree, because I always get asked about my flowers, then here is the place they've got every single colour. Oh, wow. Ooh, they've got loads, haven't they, Mum? Mm. I wonder if they've got any, like, midnight blue ones for you. Oh, yeah, look. 
big blue ones. How much are they from here? Six ninety nine. Guys, my camera is flashing low battery. So annoying. I'm going to switch over to my phone now. <laughs> two now because we were a little bit disappointed with Sapcoat this year so we're at Palmer's in Enderby I've actually never been here before um that's you all right seems quite nice I'll flip around and show you some of the trees and decorations <laughs> I do believe it's Christmas It's cold outside but I'm warm within Cause Christmas time is here A merry game they play Chasing each other to and fro Laughing all the way Oh, what a jolly time To have the whole family here For a few days of love park because on the way back from the typhoon i didn't vlog a lot of the typhoon but i did just show you you know the place which i've shown you a million times because i've been there a few times um what do you think mom like it's quite a price there isn't it yeah it's all right like i think the breakfast is better there um don't really have too much on the lunch menu it was nice but yeah quite overpriced what it is but i think it is because of the decor and it is like nice aesthetic and stuff um but anyway thought we'd nip in fast park primark very quickly to see what they've got um, I want to have a look at the home stuff because they have some nice home Christmas bits that I've seen on TikTok. Mm. Yeah. So, let's go. If it's any good, I'll do a little vlog, guys. Okay, guys. So, Primark is absolutely unreal at the moment. I didn't expect to find as much stuff when I came in and I've just ended up buying so much stuff. So, there's actually a range in a collaboration with this girl called Paula... I can't actually even say her last name. I didn't actually know who she was, um, but she seems really big on Instagram. So this is all of her range around here now. So I'm going to show you. So there's this gorgeous coat that is, I love the little swing tickets, swing tickets, swing tags on them as well. That's £38. A lot of it is quite expensive, but it's really nice quality. These skirts, which are just absolutely everywhere at the moment, they are, how much are these? £11. I feel like mini skirts are just crazy right now and then there's this gorgeous coat 
I really like that coat, Mom. It feels so soft as well, yeah, nice. doesn't it? Yeah. Kind of wish I got that. Um, <laughs> then they also have these like long unitard jumpsuits in, kind of like sports look style. They've got like a crisscross back. These are 14. They also do it in black. Got a cardigan, really nice um, brown knitted top, which is eight pound. Oh no, it says matching items available. What was matching in that? I've never seen it. You didn't see anything? A cord, cord, a cord mini skirt. Um, then what else do we have? We literally seen so much, didn't we? <laughs> this jumper, I love this for like leggings, and then I just wear like trainers with it. That's going to be ten pound. Everything is running so low though, like stock is limited. You came on Friday, didn't you, Mum? Yeah. And you said that none of this was here, and it's only Tuesday today, and all of the sizes are about gone. Um, so this is part of a coordinate, this pinstripe suit. I will show you the blazer in a second. If we just go around um this real nice knitted top 12 pound love that and then this is the matching blazer to the trousers honestly all of these blazers feel amazing quality this is 25 pounds so i did get the matching suit for that also these real nice like jean coordinates these are 20 pound did i say coordinates i meant cargoes <laughs> honestly can't even speak um and then over here is the black, kind of like long jumpsuit, unitard, sports looks <laughs> kind of thing. I think that'd be really nice with some trainers though. And then we all really liked this. What are we calling these? Sleeveless jumpers? What are these called, Amelia? Tank tops. Tank tops. Vests. <laughs> Vests. <laughs> so how much is that? That is £12 and that quality is so nice. Oh, they also do it in a jumper version too, long sleeve. Yeah, that's nice. And then this blazer, how nice is this? It does have matching bottoms, but again, very limited with sizes. That's £23. And then there are matching bottoms. But like I say, size is so limited and they're 15. Mum, what are you putting? A hat on for me. <laughs> I think you were doing that. No, I look stupid with them on. I did used to wear them and then I just realised I looked stupid. Um, they also have this really nice like cropped white shirt for £11. Just like a little basic. Also like this vest, sleeveless, knitted <laughs> top. Um, that's £14. And it's quite like long. So you could wear that with boots and tights. Yeah, look, guys, all boots are sold out, but you can get the Primark version for six pound. Yeah, but they're just not the same. Everyone wants the actual like Uggs. Um, but yeah, absolutely love all these blazers. And um, what else do we have? Let's go over the other side. These jeans are really nice as well for 18 pound in brown, wide leg, high waist. I like these jumper dresses as well. These are cute, 14 pound. Got them in beige and grey. Be good just with a pair of boots. And then this jumper dress is really soft. £16. Yeah, it's in a brown. What she spotted Amelia. Oh. Then we've got this green faux leather blazer set, £25. Yeah, they are the trousers to match over there. That's quite going out, eh? Um, they've also got these dresses that are perfect for going out. How much? Well, Mum, it's not just about you, is it? Yeah, but it's like, what is it? Renaissance style. That's what it is, isn't it? Like modern Renaissance. Yeah, £13. Also got some real nice black blazers too. I feel like black never shows up nice on this camera. And then, oh my goodness, I don't know how nice this um, brown colour is showing up, that's better. But this brown blazer feels amazing quality. It is £27, but like the quality of it is gorgeous. And then I would show you the matching um, top to this, but I picked up the last one. So there is a matching like shirt crop top to go with this, which is the mini skirt in cargo fabric, £11. And then they also have the midi skirt and they also do have trousers but again i picked up the last pair they also have these really nice faux leather shorts in orange and then also got some more kind of like florally tops the renaissance kind of style <laughs> the mesh as well 
and then these are the matching trousers which are 16 pound and they go with that blazer honestly stunning i'm obsessed and then over here we've got loads of right i'm back guys i had a bit of a storage issue there because i do way too much on my phone and i never delete anything um right let me flip back around so they finally got all the real nice like teddy coats back in stock i think these are 35 from memory they do it in a lighter color too which i'll show you in a second but i think that's a bargain for 35 pound because unlike plt these are about 60 70 so yeah and they're really good quality i'm absolutely sweating oh it's so warm in here right gonna come over to the coat section so they've got so many nice coats I love these, like the quality feels so soft. Um, I think that's different to the one I showed you at the beginning of the store. And then they have loads of nice little chunky cardigans for £14. They have, I'm trying to find the other teddy coat. Oh, it's around here. Here we go. Oh, is that in black as well? Oh, they've got it in black as well. Sorry, the black is always so bad on this camera because I'm on my phone. Um, but this is the like cream that isn't the cream color that's the cream one absolutely obsessed they are selling out so fast um they've just got loads of little stands with like knitwear and stuff on loads of little like vests i did quite like the look of these but they don't feel that great they're just for like just casual jumpers 14 pound but yeah they're not the softest they do them in cream, that brownie colour, and then black. <laughs> Where else, Mum? What else do I need to show? Also got loads of more, like, relaxed, chill coats. Not so many shackets yet. Ooh, that's a nice um, trench coat, £40. They also have these cargo trousers, £22, in a black. They're in that typical, like... Do you know that fabric? I don't know what fabric it is, like nylon. Um, but yeah, they feel really good quality to be fair. Oh, they've got like the velvety. What are these? Like faux fur. Oh, these are well stuff. We missed these. How much are these? £40. Oh my god, they literally feel insane. If you were after a gorgeous soft faux fur coat, Primark is definitely the one. We've got some real nice coats in. Also got loads of like faux leather gilets. I know gilets are quite big again this year, 28 pounds. Anyway guys, we are both absolutely knackered. I would go up and show you the home stuff, but um, it wasn't that good. They had a few little Christmassy bits in. They did have my clean cotton fabric spray in, which I'm so happy about because you guys have probably heard me go on for ages now that it's been sold out. So I did suck up on that. Um, but other than that, there wasn't too much. So, um, right, I'm lost again. <laughs> Here they are. Here they are. Here's the gang. Here's the gang. <laughs> anyway, over and out from Primark. But I just thought I would vlog and show you what they've got in because they do have some good gems in. Saying me, who just spent an absolute fun. Do you know what guys, at this point, I just give up with tripods. I have already brought a like handheld one for vlogging and then I've got one for my car which I don't know what's missing on it but it's broke for some reason. You're literally balanced on it but not how you should be. Um, but anyway, hey everyone, I'm continuing on the vlog finally um, because honestly life is chaotic at the moment. It's a bit manic. With obviously the lead up to Christmas, we've got Halloween. Well, I say this weekend, I guess it's this weekend and then it falls on Monday. So we've got all of that. I'm still trying to like push out some autumn content. So I feel like I genuinely have around about five or six videos on the go currently that I'm like either vlogging for and, and then picking it back up. So I just feel a little bit lost all over the place and I abandoned this vlog. Um, I feel like the last footage you will have saw is in Primark. And I just thought it was a little bit like sad to see it go to waste i do that often i film things then don't put it out and i thought no do you know what like today i will i don't know what's going on in my hair i will um carry it on 
So it's the afternoon now and I need to get out of the house. I've been editing and doing admin stuff all morning. And I was like, do you know what? It's Thursday. We passed the midway mark. The midway? The midweek mark now. Um, and I just feel like, yeah, I'm basically allowed to come out the house. No, not really. I can come out of the house at whatever point I obviously want. Um, but yeah, I just wanted a coffee. All I want this afternoon is a coffee and I really want some homemade soup as well. I've not yet had anything for lunch. So um, I thought whilst I'm up Fermerson Retail Park, because that is where the Starbucks is, I would grab a coffee and then rather than pick just something up for lunch, I would go to M&S, get some bits and make some homemade soup because I feel like homemade soup is relatively easy to do and I haven't actually done it this autumn. And my mum always makes this like real nice chicken soup. It's like shredded chicken she cooks a whole chicken then Joe just like uses the leftover chicken and I don't know what else she puts in but oh my god it's always so good because it's got like the chicken juices and then cream and obviously seasoning I'm not making chicken to you I was thinking maybe like a parsnip soup or something um when me and Jess had like a sleepover a few years ago she I think I've gone on about a soup so much but she brought around some um like homemade parsnip soup that her mum did and oh my god it was so good so good and I've been thinking about it ever since that day so I might yeah might attempt to do a parsnip soup don't really know what it involves but I actually bought one of the like soup um what is that hand movement um i bought one it's basically like a, a stick and oh god shut up Laura, you're sounding stupid it's a soup maker thing and it was only like 15 pound of amazon so i had purchased one of them so i need to make use of it so i'm gonna do that and i also have um a bunch of fabric in the boot of my car that i picked up from dunham weeks and weeks and weeks ago told myself i would do diy pumpkins in a video still haven't done that so that is what we're doing today i'm ticking it off the list because obviously like I said, I'm going to get this out, hopefully, tonight, this video. Um, and, yeah, I was just thinking, with Halloween, like, at the weekend, people are probably going to be doing parties for their kids and stuff, or might just want to decorate the house. There's still time to do some DIY pumpkins, and on a budget. So that's what we're going to do. And even if you don't do it this year, you can do it next year. So, anyway, I'm going to shut up, because I'm already three and a half minutes deep talking. But, yeah, I'm not really feeling my hair today, guys. But, basically, what it was is... um. I've been dabbing through a little bit of a moment lately. I feel like I've not filled you in and spoke to you about this, but I've just been feeling so, like, happy and positive and not giving a shit about how I look. Like, you would be so proud and surprised by me. This last week, I have been going around everywhere with no makeup on, like, locally, no makeup, hair stick back, just not caring what people think and honestly like i feel like it's helped me so much i think sometimes the issue is when you do hair and makeup every day you get used to how you look with that you know so then when you don't have hair and makeup on you oh my god that, oh 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 my god sorry i'm just watching a car reverse and i thought it was going to reverse into a car um yeah so what i'm saying is i feel like when you have hair and makeup done every single day and then you don't have hair and makeup done you feel a bit funny about yourself you're like oh god this is a real me um whereas when you kind of embrace who you are without the hair and makeup but still take like pride in your appearance appearance <laughs> appearance so you can still like do your hair nice put like some nice moisturizers on um you know just have your brows tinted maybe like, I've kind of learnt that you can still look nice like that. And I've always thought you can't. And I've always felt that I didn't look nice like that. But I feel like this past week, because I have just embraced in, like, more my natural self and my makeup and, you know, just been making a little bit of effort when I haven't got makeup on um, to feel a bit nicer, I've been doing good. I've been doing good. And then, you know, this morning, I put makeup on and thought, right, I'm going to do my hair, even though it's on day three and really greasy. And I'm like, oh my god, who even is this? Like, I'm actually not used to wearing makeup now. So, yeah, it, it's really weird. But basically, my message of this is, guys, is if, like me, you were someone that is so used to wearing makeup and doesn't particularly like yourself without makeup on, this is your sign and your opportunity to just try and have a few days without wearing no makeup, but still give yourself some self-care, some pamper, do little things like maybe tint your eyebrows, give yourself an LVL lift, or go and get an LVL lift or some lashes. Oh wait, there's someone going in the car. I'm gonna be quiet. One second. 
sorry there was absolutely no way i could talk because someone was getting to the car like in front of me and they were literally looking at me whilst i've got my camera here um but yeah this is your sign to do something out of your comfort zone this week and just embrace who you are i know this is coming from me who is someone that you know has my like body dysmorphic episodes and i go through all these kind of I don't even know how to call them, like these waves of feeling good, feeling rubbish, then feeling like I need to go and get loads of surgery and things like that. But I feel like genuinely the last six weeks, I've never felt in a better place about myself. Like I'm just really learning to love myself, love who I am and just embrace this whole like natural me a bit more. And I'm like really changing my mindset too, to be like, I don't give a shit. I don't give a shit if I walk down the road and someone looks at me and thinks, God, she's well ugly, or she looks like this, or she's this, because that's how I normally think, right? I don't care. Like, who are they to me? Like, and if that's your mentality of what you think about me just based on looks, like, what does that say about you? So, honestly, girls, let's just embrace who we are and stop comparing ourselves to people on social media. We're all guilty for it. I do it all the time. I see someone and I'm like, oh, God, I wish my nose was like that. I wish my lips was as big as hers, or I wish my face was more sculpted but look i'm not like that i'm not her i'm me i'm laura <laughs> and we've just got to learn to be happy with ourselves because life is so short to be worrying about shit like this like i think that's where i'm at as well so yeah here's to be more positive right um because i want this platform to be positive and i want girls to come here and be like she's normal like do you know what I mean? I think sometimes when you watch people that are so perfect, and don't get me wrong, some people can't help looking, you know, like Angelina Jolie and, you know, all these amazing people, like, that's not their fault. But, like, sometimes when you're watching someone that's so obsessed with their looks in a way where they're, like, trying to create this perfect thing of them, you then start questioning you. Does this even make any sense? Um, anyway, I'm going to shut up because I feel like I'm going way too deep to start off a vlog. Let's go and get our coffee. I keep pissing around with my hair as well because I'm just not sure about this like crimped style. Yeah, do you know what it is? I've been wearing my hair slick rick for like the past week, so I felt like I had to wear it down, but I'm not sure. But yeah, anyway, I'm gonna grab a coffee, get some stuff from my Maness, and then we're gonna head home. So let's bounce. Sorry, this is effectively a car vlog because I didn't even go out and actually show you. Well, I did go out, but I didn't show you. Um, I mean, not that there's much to show. Ice cream on my Mac, you know the drill guys, decaf, and I actually got almond milk because we didn't have any nut blend milk. And why has that gone really like curdled? Ew. Let's try it. Oh, it's just what I needed, you know. I feel like that's a good one. Mmm, that is a good one. Um, yeah, anyway, I just went in m &S. All you basically need is this parsnip soup. I don't know if this is the recipe, but this is the recipe that I found. And it looked yummy. Double cream. I'm going to sneeze one second. Oh, my God. Okay, it's gone. So, you need double cream, parsnips, vegetable stock, a little bit of garlic, and salt and pepper. Easy, right? So, yeah, that's all we're going to do. And then, to go on the side, I thought I'd get some of these mini rolls because they were so cute. Um, m and bread's always so tasty as well, isn't it? So, you get three seeded, three bran-topped rolls and three flour-topped white rolls. I'm just a sucker for anything mini. So, yeah, I'm going to have a couple of them with it as well because you've got to have bread with soup. I don't know how people have soup and they don't have bread. Like, the bread's the best bit. Well... I mean, the soup's nice and it's a tasty soup, but you know what I mean. Anyway, we're going to get home. I just needed, like, my five minutes out of the house to grab my Starbucks and actually, do you know what I mean, have some fresh air. Um, I haven't been gym yet today, and it's kind of like, I think it's rest day today. I've been Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Wait, did I go Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday? Have I actually been three days running? Wait, let me think about this, because then, technically, like, I don't feel as bad for not going today. No. I didn't go Monday. I went Tuesday, Wednesday. So my aim is always three times a week, like minimum. But to be honest with you, four times would be desirable because what I'm doing at the gym at the moment is just walking. So I do incline walk for 20 minutes. I'm 10 incline and quite like a fast speed, so like speed walking. And then I'll do like 30 minutes on the cross trainer. So I am just doing merely cardio. But um, I, I'm not one of these people, right, that I do enjoy actually doing weights, but because I've gone back to this gym, it's like newly refurbished. I feel like every time I go there, it's a bit intimidating. Like there's so many people always in the weight section. It's not a big weight section. 
Um, and personally for me, all I want to do is keep fit, lose a little bit of weight that I've just gained, and just kind of like tone up, like just feel like tighter everywhere. That's it. I'm not really bothered about like building muscle and anything fancy. So I'm hoping that's just going to do the job alongside eating like relatively, you know, healthy. I just think balanced diet, guys. Everything in moderation. Um, I've been having porridge in the mornings, which I'm really enjoying. I feel like oats always fills me up first thing. So typically I'd have like porridge in the morning. Lunch I find a hard one, but I have like wholemeal wrap with like chicken and vegetables. And then dinners, they vary, but again, they're normally something like salmon, prawns, rice, veg. Oh, I love that dinner so much. Or sometimes I'll just have something like a bit like hearty and warm at this time of year, like shepherd's pie. Um, sausage and mash do you know what I mean with veg and stuff so yeah anyway I am rumbling I really am rumbling let's go because I'm so hungry and I want to get this soup done okay guys I'm not sure if you're actually straight here you're basically leaning on the tap can I like just bend the tap down a bit more and um, right let's crack on and make some soup because Joe you know what Mitchell's gonna be home from work soon um because he actually finishes at like half past three he's at home half past three most days so yeah it just means he's always back super early and a lot of the times I'm still in the middle of working or just making my lunch because I'm someone that always has like a late lunch whereas he has lunch at 12 so he'll come in at half three like can we have dinner so anyway let me show you the um, soup thing I got so it was like 15 I'm going to say off Amazon, which I thought was good. Apparently, you can do smoothies with this as well. So it's just like this, 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 this. <laughs> um, I do have a blender, so if you have a blender, that could be an option for your soup. But mine is like a nutri bullet, it's so small, and I feel like the soup recipe is quite big. And I'm hoping it is, because I want to save some so I can have it like tomorrow and, well, however many portions I get out of it. So yeah, that's what you're going to need first of all. And like I said, just get yourself some bread, vegetable stock cubes, double cream, salt and pepper, a bit of garlic. They did say chilli flakes as well, but oh, I'm not really one for too much spice, so I might not put that in. And then, yeah, parsnips. So I presume we just peel the parsnips, cook them. And then we're gonna like mush them up. So, all right, let's crack on. All you have to do is chop up the parsnips into like little little bits like this. A um, bit of garlic in your saucepan as well and you're going to fry it off for five minutes. That's what I'm doing at the moment. Um, and then I'm just making up some stock now. So I'm guessing it's two stock cube things, all these stock parts. But it says for every uh, 500 mils you put one in and it said a, a, a thousand, not a thousand, one litre sorry, of stock. So yeah, we're going to be adding that in soon and leave the lid on for 15 minutes so i'm going to mix that all together okay it's not like mixed properly in but i am going to pour this in now so you do this carefully guys Oops. yeah that will all mix together won't it so now we have to let this simmer for 15 minutes so then i'll be back okay so i've removed it from the heat and it now says to get the blender and blend so i'm gonna see what this does i just haven't got a clue how this is gonna turn out but yeah, let's keep the faith. Okay, I'm actually quite impressed, guys. Um, it's all blended down to a soup. So now we need to season salt and pepper and add some cream in. So let's do that. What do you say, babe? live taste test of the past it soup. Mm, it's nice, isn't it? Mm. What do you think? Mitchell just got home from work. I was telling everyone that you'd probably be back or ready for some soup. I'm all over it. <laughs> I'm all over it like a rash. Nice, isn't it? Mm. It's quite tasty, isn't it? Like, mm. considering all this is, baby, it's parsnips, vegetable stock. So you just like cook the parsnips, 
put some um, a litre of vegetable stock in, a little bit of garlic, I didn't put too much garlic in, salt and pepper and double cream. Mmm. Mmm. The bread's very good as well, but it sweats it. Yeah, and then I'm spread. Yeah. Only the best. Yeah, you've really pushed the out. Mmm. So I'm really happy. <laughs> <laughs> Literally, so I was saying to the YouTube, like, you come in after work and we have such a different time. It's like, I'm just having my lunch, you already be dinner. So the fact that I've made. I have my lunch at half 12, bro. I know, it's what I was telling YouTube. So the fact that you've just walked in mm. and I've got pasta soup ready for you, your day's mm. made. Mm. <laughs> right, I'm going to enjoy this now, guys. Good morning, everyone. So I feel like the last place we picked up in this vlog was. When I was making my pumpkin, not pumpkin soup, I feel like I said that in the vlog as well, parsnip soup, um, and yet again, I just forgot to carry the vlog on because I got busy, and like I already said in this vlog, I just feel like I have a million one things to do this time of the year, so when I start vlogs, I find, why am I going really pink? I thought I went really pink in the viewfinder there, maybe I did. Um, yeah, I just feel like, I don't know, I just forget to continuously vlog, so I'm really sorry, but I'm back. I'm picking up the camera this morning, so it's now Saturday morning. It's quite a gloomy, miserable day outside today. Um, I feel like I've already had an action pack sat there. I went for breakfast, did some pumpkin carving with Mitchell's niece, um, and then I just went to Madsdale, actually, to pick up um, an order that I did online. Like, the deliveries nowadays are like four or five pounds, which I know is like not that much, but... I don't know, I know it probably cost you that to probably drive there, but um, it was an excuse to go and have a little look anyway. Um, so yeah, I actually had a little look in the Belmont Lee store in Leicester, just in case you live locally. Um, and they actually had some alright things in. I feel like their home department is normally really bad. Um, but yeah, they did have some nice Christmas bits in. So anyway, pick that up. There will be a big Christmas haul coming very soon because... I have done that thing where I said I wouldn't buy anything, like I do for every season, and then lo and behold, you see so many nice things in the stores, and you just have to get a few bits. Um, but yeah, anyway, this morning, before I do some baking, because I really want to do some baking, I feel like when it's like a miserable day outside, and you don't really fancy doing anything outdoorsy, I love baking, like, that is what I like to do. And I feel like I'm coming towards the end of my autumn baking now, um, because Christmas comes to me. Christmas content is basically starting, guys. Christmas content is honestly so close, you wouldn't even believe. I have already filmed about three Christmas videos. I'm so organised this year. I feel like I've never been this organised. I'm so living for it. Um, so yeah, this is going to be the last baking video today, I feel like. Unless I've got another video coming out that I've done baking in. Oh, actually, there's another video that will be coming out after this where I've done some autumn baking in. See what I mean? I'm so organised with the content. Um, but yeah, today I really wanted to do my pumpkin muffins again. Um, I did them last year. They're like the Starbucks cream cheese muffin. Although I don't actually think we've ever had the Starbucks cream cheese muffins in the UK. I think it's an American thing. But yeah, I made them last year. They were insane. I actually picked up some cute muffin... I was going to say tins. What are they? Muffin cases? Let me show you. I mean, I could have gone like OG brown, but I wanted to get the orange ones because look how cute they are. Very like Halloween-y and it is Halloween weekend this weekend. I feel like everyone's having the Halloween parties and stuff like today and tomorrow and then Halloween's on Monday. So of course, we've got to go with the orange ones. Um, I can actually pick up this one, just nipped in Tesco. Um, I thought this would be really good for some Christmas baking. I've never seen it before. Red velvet, Dustin. Um, again, if you've been here a while on my channel and saw some of my baking videos, I made cream cheese red velvet muffins last year. Um, and I think I sprinkled something on. Oh, I'll tell you what I did. I sprinkled the crumbs from the sponge on top and that looks really cute. But yeah, red velvet Dustin. Having a bit of that. Anyway, guys, before we do jump into the baking, I just remembered that I needed to show you something because I always get so many questions about this and I always forget to show you. And as I did this last night in my little beauty prep um, regime, as you can see, I've not washed my tan off yet. I have dyed my eyebrows fresh. And also, let me try and get a closer of this. Can you see how long my eyelashes look? Oh my God, how long do they look, guys? That has got no mascara on and it is all thanks to this kit. Honestly, when I say this kit is the best at home lash and tint kit, it genuinely is. This is my second time repurchasing this and it lasts me like three months. Just make sure you properly put the lids on else the stuff obviously doesn't work as good. Um, so I've used this, I think twice now. You can probably get four months out of it, depends how often you're doing them. Um, so it basically is a lash 
and brow lift kit. Lift, <laughs> let me say that again. Lash and brow lift kit with tint. So you can tint your brows, you can tint your lashes, and if you want, you can do, what do people do here? I don't ever do that. Um, is it a brow lamination? I've not tried that, but they, it, there is instructions in this kit to do that. And then also like a, a lash lift. And I did it last night, and I honestly can't get over the results. Every time I do it, I'm like, oh my God, I need to keep on top of this. It's just finding the time, I'm not gonna lie, it is quite a long procedure to do. Um, it probably takes, I'd give yourself an hour, but every time I do it, like when I've not got no makeup on, I just feel so much more confident. I just think it adds that little glamness to you. Um, I've also put a fairy tan on my face today. Does it look muddy or oh, I don't think you've been nice. Um, but yeah, anyway, this is from Amazon. I think it's it's not one of the cheapest ones. It's like £20, I'm going to say. But it's brilliant. It lasts you a good while. And if you consider getting like a lash lift, is around £45, £50, which is a lot of money. That's a one lash lift. And this is going to last you like three or four months. It is so worth it. Um, it's so good Like you get the little eye patches for underneath. Let me just quickly show you. Obviously, my kit is a little bit ruined so you get all your like lotions here so you get a cleansing lotions to clean first of all you get like a nutrition lotion to put on your lashes after you get like the lift and then what one is this it does have like all the names on it lift and setting one the glue for the pads what you do with your eyelashes with you get all your treatment tools in here there's so much stuff like um a brow oh god let me just show you because i'm rubbish explaining stuff so you get like this which is to put your lashes onto the pads to like stick them to it you get loads of tools there's just loads of stuff in here it's honestly so good and i really recommend it and like i say with this kit you also get two of these so one's like a tint developer and one's a tint now the tint is black and i do always dye my eyebrows black which at first it can be a bit like whoa but i always just find like when i do it brown it fades that quick anyway so just do it black, don't leave it on for as long. I think it says 10, 12 minutes on here. Now, unless you want black brows, I wouldn't do that. I would literally leave it on for like three or four minutes. Um, and I've said the tint lasts two weeks on your brows, which I find that anyway if I go to a salon. Anyway, I've really rambled about this, but I'm gonna leave the Amazon link in my description if you wanna get one of these, because like I say, I just can't recommend it. And I always get asked so many questions, which one I use. Right, let's get on to baking anyway, guys. I've done my little setup. Let me show you. Um, here's the setup. I'm going to do some TikToks as well, honestly. Life of an influencer. I bloomin' hate that word. Life of a content creator, let's say. Um, but yeah, as you guys know, I like to get everything like weighed out first of all. It makes baking so much easier. So we've got pumpkin puree, butter, vanilla extract, flour. Then I've just put the spice and baking powder in there. You are supposed to use, is it bicarb or soda? But genuinely, I feel like whenever I put that in my cakes, I can always taste it. So I've just put a bit more baking soda in, baking powder, sorry, instead granulated sugar, one egg, um, and that's it for the muffins. And then we're gonna do a cream cheese frosting. So, right, let's get in. Guys, first things first, we need to set the scene. Light the candle. I'm trying to get through my autumn candles so then I can actually buy some new ones next year because I didn't, I think I bought one this year, maybe two. Or did I just buy one? I think it might have even been one. I'm walking, but all these thoughts are running. Yell and catch me if you can, and I'm wondering if I should chase behind to stop wondering and try to take a stand. Oh, and they keep asking where the hell I'm going, who I'll be for the rest of my life. Well, I don't know where time is gonna take me. No, I'm just trying to take my time Okay guys, so I have just put the cream cheese frost in on top. Now, I will say with this muffin recipe, it says it makes rolls, so that's why I literally just put one scoop in, but I feel like they're quite small. So if you wanna make bigger ones, obviously just use two like ice cream scoops in your muffin cases just to get actual bigger muffins. So I feel like muffins are always bigger than cupcakes, whereas I feel like these are quite, well, just like small muffins or a salad cupcake. Um, so yeah, I think I would have rather just have had bigger ones. Um, but obviously you could do what you want. But 
These are so good. I just feel like anything with a cream cheese frosted is a bit of me. Uh, and what I like about these as well is they're not like overly sweet. Like the actual muffin isn't that sweet. And then just with the cream cheese frosted, it just oh, it complements it so well. Let me do a little taste test, even though I have already had one. Oh, so good. Honestly, that good. I had to remake them again this year. So, yeah, anyway, I'll leave the recipe in the description bar below. Okay, so sorry about this weird angle in the mirror kind of thing, um, but I'm just actually on the side of editing and I realised I didn't sign off the vlog and say bye. So I thought I'd just quickly come back on. Thank you so much for watching this video, guys. I really hope you have enjoyed it. I have got so much content coming your way in the next few weeks. It is ridiculous. So yeah, I hope you don't mind about that. Um, but anyway, thank you so much for watching and I shall see you all in my next video. Bye!